don't want to be at the top of the pyramid, people. They just want to be over you. They want to use you to better their life. They want to use you so they can go buy $200 bike equipment, biking equipment, so they can go ride bicycles with the same white folks that they tell you that you should not be around. And I'm not making that up. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. My brothers and sisters, I have a serious question for you. Now, I want you to think about this question. I want you to think about what I'm asking. I want you to just sit there and ponder on it, right? Pause the video and ponder. If you had a methodology, a method, proven scientific method or whatever, mathematical method or whatever, a proven method, a methodology that you can sit back and utilize to just rake in money, just rake it in. Would you not use it on yourself? Now, I want you to think about this. If you had a methodology to rake in dough, would you not sit back and rake in dough? Now, you're probably saying, of course I would. Now, I'm asking you this for a reason. Because what these prosperity pimps in the black community want you to believe is that they are trying to help you get rich by selling guaranteed methodologies to you and, and, and viable information to you. But if they had guaranteed methodologies or guaranteed viable information to rake in dough, don't you think that they would be rich already? Do you know what the main income source for these prosperity pimps in the black community is? You, you my brother. You, my sister, you are the main source of income. Now, one of these brothers in the nation is now, I'm not going to say his name. He was talking about how he had to make adjustments. Now, he was he was semi bragging about how he used his brain and all this stuff, right? To, to switch up and, and do something different during the lockdowns, right? Now, what he said was that at, after the lockdowns and everything got slow, his his job money got slow. He said, but it was a good thing that I was making good money going around speaking. And as soon as things started opening up a little bit, he started going on tour speaking. And then he started actually like buying in, 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 into like partnership shares, right? Of smaller sized businesses in the black community. He took the money that he was making off the speaking tours and basically bought his way into struggling black businesses, right? Which, that sounds cool, but it's not gonna work, but I, I, that's another topic. But the point is, his real main source of income was y'all. Now, ironically, do you know the kind of lectures this dude give when he go around talking to black people? He basically call you stupid and dumb for not wanting to be rich, for, 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 for not for not wanting a uh, better education, for not wanting to get out the ghetto. This is their whole rhetoric prosperity pimping at its best this is all they talk about they try to shame you into believing that something is wrong with you if you don't want to spend every waking hour chasing dollars even these dudes in the so-called manosphere like that 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 old fake dude call himself dr boa he talked about you shouldn't spend your whole life uh, chasing women. Women should not be the main focus of your life. Then what should be? Because I don't like nothing else but women in life, to be honest. There's only one thing I really like is women. You know what I'm saying? I don't need nothing else. Give me an island full of women and I'll be the happiest man around. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Of course, I want my wife with me though, you know what I'm saying? But uh, give me an island full of women. I'll be the happiest man around. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what else is there? Okay, so he said, don't don't spend your time making money your main, I mean, making women your main focus, but make money your main focus? You can't bring that with you when you die, bruh. And that is not a life experience. Chasing money is not a life experience. 
You don't want to be on your deathbed, man. All you did your entire life was chase money. You got literally nothing that you had did while you were in, in life but chase money. That's why y'all hate me so much. I know the people that don't like me, I know why y'all don't like me. Because I can talk about things, man. You see, I wasn't the dude that just talked about things, sat on the sideline and talked about other people. I was the dude that the people was talking about. I wasn't the one gossiping about what such and such did, man. You see what he did over there? You seen that fight he had over there? Hey, man, dude, dude over there making moves, doing a newspaper for this, doing a newspaper. I mean, good stuff. Now, I ain't talking about newspaper for bad stuff only. Actually, I did make the newspaper for bad stuff, too. But I'm just saying, I'm talking about good stuff. Dude, dude linking up with politicians down here, man. He's trying to make moves. I was the dude that people talked about. I was never the dude that sat there and talked about other people. If I wanted to go on licks, I went on licks. In fact, that's how I got shot on the licks. If I want to go on licks, I go on licks. If if, 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 if if I want to hustle, I hustle. If I want to try to start a business, I try. If I seen a bad chick I wanted to talk to, I try to talk to her. If she shot me down, I try to talk to the next one. If she shot me down, I try to talk to the next one. And so on and so on and so on. I was never the kind of dude that was scared to fail. And that's why I had so many successes. But success is measured by the individual. And the thing is that I've learned in life is that money is not success. Social economics is not success. Success must be defined by you as an individual. What is it that you want out of life? Because I can guarantee you can chase money all you want. 99.99999% of the chance you are never going to achieve the level of wealth or riches that you think you want. You're never going to get it. It is not as easy as these prosperity pimps make it sound. And let me go back to the opening question because that was going somewhere with that. If I had a guaranteed methodology to rake in dough, first of all, you would know my methodology works by the way I live. And my main source of income would not be selling that methodology to nobody because why would I need to sell it? If it works, why do I need to make money selling it if it works? If it's so easy, why do I need to make money selling it if it works? Do you know talking to people, trying to convince people to buy into your programs, run the risk of people being disgruntled and giving bad reviews and won't refunds, that's a lot more of a headache than just going on and raking in your dough if it's that easy. These prosperity pimps are lying to you. What they want to do is have y'all at the bottom, right? All, all, all enthusiastic and rallying while they sit there in the middle, look at this chart I created. While they sit there in the middle, telling you how to get rich, telling you, selling information to you while you support them through donations, through money, I don't care how you do it. You're supporting them while they talk to you about how slow you are, how dumb you are, how you need to be motivated, get out here and do this, how you need to get up and do that. You need, you need to switch up and do this, you need to switch up. While they do all this talk, their main source of income is you. But all alone, they're still standing under white supremacy and American flag. That's still standing there. That's still at the top of the pyramid. They don't want to be at the top of the pyramid, people. They just want to be over you. They want to use you to better their life. They want to use you so they can go buy $200 bike equipment, biking equipment, so they can go ride bicycles with the same white folks that they tell you that you should not be around. And I'm not making that up. I'm not gonna tell you which pro-black dude it is, you do your research. He's popular, he's all over media. I mean, he's popular, he goes around the country talking, I'm not gonna tell you who he is. But yeah, his main source of income is you, so he can go buy two or three hundred dollar biking outfits, I mean bicycle outfits so that him and his wife can go ride bicycles in, in, in these events with the white folks. Expensive bikes too. So they can go ride thousand dollar bikes with two hundred dollar outfits on a piece. Thousand dollar bikes a piece. With, with, with two hundred and fifty dollar shoes, sneakers on a piece. 
This is how they live off of you. While they riding around in Range Rovers and stuff. Land Rovers. You struggling. Donate money to them. So and, and they all they give you is a false hope of motivation. Yeah, you could do it, you could do it it's easy. All you gotta do is no, all you gotta do is nothing. It ain't that easy. It ain't that easy. The system of economics is vast. If it were easy to get rich and we all be rich, they want you to believe that you're not rich because something is wrong with you in the way you think, because you're not trying hard enough, or because you're not doing something right. It ain't got nothing to do with none of that. It ain't got nothing to do with none of that. You ain't rich, man, because the system of economics is vast. It is not easy to get out here and get rich. It's not that easy. And why do you want to be rich anyway? Why is that so important to every black man that you meet, every black woman you meet? We, 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 we destroy our social relationships with each other by judging each other's pockets. I told a story on one of my videos of one of my exes, you know, um, I know it's complicated, I don't want to get into it, but all my exes still talk to me. They, they, they call me and everything, ask me advice about their love of life and stuff like that. I'm not the kind of dude that break up with women or we separate or whatever and on bad terms. Because, I mean, I, I truly believe what I say. I, this stuff that I'm preaching, I believe it. You know, life is short. You got one life to live. And um, if your journey takes you away from me, I'm going to hug you, give you a kiss on the cheek, and wish you all the well, all, all, all the best. I'm going to genuinely wish you the best. But one of my exes called me up. She met this guy that she was, this brother that she was trying to talk to. I guess she liked him because she was talking to him. Brother was on hard times, but you know, he's he getting by. She had the nerve to call me venting about the dude being on hard times and, and trying to date. Talking about he shouldn't even be trying to date him in that situation. I'm like, hold on. Did he ask you to pay his bills? She was like, no. I said, well, why are you worrying about how he pay his bills? So you was never like that when you was around me. That's your problem. You get away from a god and you start acting like a devil. That's why you're not here right now. That's the real reason why she couldn't hack it in this family structure. They can go out and tell people whatever they want, but the truth is there's something rotten in these people. And I ain't trying to diss on my girl, you know what I'm saying? I have nothing but love for her, but I'm just, I'm just being real. It's something that's rotten inside of it because why are you judging this brother's economic situation or financial situation and he's not asking you for a dime he's not asking you for a penny why does it matter how he pays his bill all you need to ask him is do he do he do anything illegal that you gotta worry about getting caught up in with the police or somebody coming trying to get him up or something like that if he ain't doing none of that how he struggles and pays his bill should not be your concern you are only socializing with the man you're only trying to get to know the brother. You make good money. Suppose you actually like this brother. So it, 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 it's, a, it's something wrong with you making more money than him now? Something wrong. He's beneath you now because you make more money. Come on, y'all got problems, man. Money has become y'all God. And these prosperity pimps know it. That's why all they talk about is money. If it ain't, think about even the reparations on What is all about money? It's everything about money. We don't need nothing but freedom, man. We don't need nothing but to get away from these devils and live our lives the way we should. We'll be just fine. Y'all are afraid because y'all have no real skills, but we will learn them. Don't be afraid, man. We are gods. We'll figure this stuff out quickly, too. You'll be surprised at how fast we'll figure it out. It won't take long. Y'all need to correct your course. Correct your course. And don't let these prosperity pimps use you. Don't let these people use you for to, 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 to finance their lavish lifestyles. Don't let it do them. They're out here riding around in exotic cars. They're not living modest. They're not living, you know, pious. They splurging off of you because they know that's what you want to see. But you don't understand that you or the way that they splurge. You are their source of income. If they had a methodology, use it on yourself and don't sell it to your brothers and sisters because I wouldn't sell it to y'all. If I had a guaranteed methodology, I wouldn't sell it. In fact, the plans I got for the black people that, that, that's going to join me, I, I, I don't want nothing for it but your participation. Whatever we need, be pitching together. I don't need nothing. 
I don't care about money, man. I am content. Y'all don't get it. I don't care about money, bro. I am content. I don't wear name brands. I got it. My, my last name is Asadullah. I got a nice little shirt with an A on it for my last name. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm simple. Look, look, look at this stuff. I'm simple, man. I'm simple. I don't care about all that stuff, bro. I could look nice for cheap. I don't need fancy clothes. I don't need fancy cars. I don't need a mansion. I am Kush. I am Kazim, Isam, Asadu, or Lot, no matter what I got in my pocket. No matter what. That's why the prosperity pimps have no hold on me. That's why when they talk, I don't hear it. Because first of all, they lying to y'all and I'm gonna prove it. Maybe not in this video, I know it'll go too long. I'm gonna start proving, I'm gonna start breaking down how business and finances really work. And I'm gonna show you why you should understand that these people are lying to you. What they're trying to get you to do is support them. That's what they're trying to do. They are trying to get you to give them your money for information on how to make money. But if there was your real brother, if there was your real sister, they wouldn't sell nothing to you because I wouldn't sell nothing to you. If I'm selling stuff to you, it's products. I'm, I'm, I'm actually engaging in commerce. And if I start selling products, it's products that you can actually use and the proceeds are gonna to go towards what I'm trying to build. I will never sell you fake information. I will never sell you fake how to do things when I know they don't work. I will never lie to you for money or for financial gain. Money does not rule me. Cash rules everything around me, dollar, dollar bill, y'all, not me. Cash don't rule nothing around me, nothing. I don't care about it. I don't care about money no more than, than, than to the extent that I know I need money within this system to, to survive, right? For, for the basic things, the way the system is. But that is a problem to me. It's not a problem for y'all. Y'all solution is to just work harder and get more money and try to figure out ways to work hard. Can't y'all see it's not working? You got people work all day right now, can't afford rent. Full-time jobs and homeless, sleeping in their cars. One chick actually posted something up saying, now they're starting to fine you if you sleep in your car. So you can't sleep in your car. If, they, if the police roll up on you and you homeless, sleeping in your car, they gonna write you a ticket. Man, this is this is the world that these prosperity pimps that call themselves pro-black. This is the evil and the wickedness that they are promoting, that they are supporting. They are not trying to find a way out of it. They want to be in it. And they know there's no room for everybody. Listen, there's less than 1% of the people up here wearing that, that makes so much money. If you actually pull in a uh, Hundred and fifty, two hundred thousand dollars. You in the five percentile, or something like that, man. Think about that. People don't have the kind of money y'all think they have, and people don't get that money. So these people that sell you all this prosperity teaching, they know that that, that that you're not gonna get there. They know it. They're gonna get there. They're gonna splurge and live great by talking to you. They're gonna splurge and live great by selling hope and fantasies to you. Don't let them do you that, bro, under the name of pro-blackness. You know, right now, you know you know where we at right now as individuals, black people? Forget about all this unity stuff. Think, for your, think about yourself. Think about what it is that you want for you. If somebody wants you to pay them for uh, information, uh, uh, like to get rich, don't do it. Don't let nobody lecture you on how stupid you are because you don't make money your goal. Because you're not out here trying to figure out how to go back to college and get in debt so, so you can try to make more money that you're never gonna make. Don't let nobody preach to you like that, man. And start hooking up again, man. Start, start partnering up. Unity is very important, man. Unity is a, is a vital factor in survival. Human beings are really not meant to, to, to walk alone. 
not even a mint. They can talk all this alpha stuff all they want, these fake alphas, you know what I'm saying? But a real alpha knows he's a lion. Like my, na my last name is Asadu Lai, it means lion of Allah. And lions ain't nothing unless they have their, 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 their pride, right? A prideless, a, 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 a womanless lion is a, is a buster. He ain't nothing. He can roam the lands all he want, but if he ain't got no women with him, he ain't doing a damn thing. So start parting up because we need each other. You know, everybody has a role to play. Everybody can bring things to the table, man. We just make more progress together. But stop worrying about what everybody else wants for you. Stop trying to live your life through other people's ideas of how life's supposed to be lived. What they think you should want. And notice I say partner up, get together. I ain't say get married within the system. I'm not into all that stuff, man. You live your life however you want to live your life. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, all those old traditional madness. That, see, those are smoke screen too. They, they, they're trying to do the same. They're trying to browbeat women into a role of submission, you know, to the man. I, you're not going to hear me talking about that. I'm just telling you, think about partnering with somebody traveling in the same direction you are in life. Think about somebody with a like mind. Find you a like-minded person that you actually like. Forget about, you know, if, if she's a five or a four. Forget about if he's a pookie. Forget about all that, man. As long as they dedicated. As long as you could trust them to move with you. And I know what y'all gonna say, but you can't trust no pookie, but you can't trust nobody. Y'all y'all dudes are just as flaky as them dudes in the streets. Man, I don't know who y'all fooling. Y'all forget y'all talking to me. Every woman I know that dated you so-called good guys have been beat half to death by them dudes. Physically abused like I don't know what. Y'all can sit down with this madness. Y'all dudes have been, been cheated on by these dudes. These same dudes that, that woo the women trying to win them over, bringing them flowers, sending flowers to their job, did all that, and still been cheated on the women once they got them. I got real stories. Y'all don't want me to start talking. And y'all sure the women do live streams start having these women on and let them start talking. Because I got real stories. So, you know, partner up, find you somebody that would like mine, man, and, and get away from these prosperity pimps, man, because all they trying to do is better their lives all for you. They're not giving you nothing you can actually use. Join me and stand up to the system. We cannot support this stuff anymore, man. We are losing. But brothers and sisters, we are losing. I truly believe, and this is not conspiratorial, I truly believe they trying to push the people into some type of civil conflict so they can justify martial law. I don't understand these people's mind, what they want, but I'm telling you, we are playing into their hands, listening to these prosperity pimps. You're going to get frustrated. You know, you already got too many people out here with, with, with firearms. You know, they angry, they bitter. You know what I'm saying? And I, I mean... We are at the tipping point already. And I think they're trying to push us over so they can justify really, really just locking down society, bro. And then we're going to have, you know, we're going to have our own armies out there. I mean, come on. Come on, man. Y'all don't see where this is going. Am I the only one that see clearly where this is going? Am I really the only one that sees how bad it is over the horizon? If we don't start changing, and I don't mean trying to get more money, I'm talking about getting out. Getting out of this. If we don't start trying to get out of this, we are gonna go down with it. We are gonna go down with it. Now I know the people who think I hate the nation of Islam, they gonna say, well, Minister Farrakhan actually said something like that 15, 20 years ago. He did, but his solution to getting out was not getting out. His solution was actually get get jobs, get small businesses, and you know, I mean, his, his solution was still within the system. Going to school, they value the white man's education. And that was Farrakhan's way out. You can't get out like that, man. That's not a way out. That's not a way out, man. You wanna know a real way out? You start teaching real skills. Mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, agriculture, you know what I'm saying, agronomy. Which, which deals with understanding all plants and herbs and everything, you know? You know, water water conservation, you know, a uh, 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 carpentry. You you know, you wanna, you wanna get out, you start teaching people real skills that they can use to build their own society. 
That's what I want to do. That's my plan. Now you know what my plan is. I'm not going to go no deeper into it, but that's my plan. We don't need school. We need skills. That's a difference. And this poverty pimps, the stuff they selling, you damn sure don't want that. You don't want it. I done dragged this on enough, man. It's one of them serious conversations, you know what I'm saying? I know it's, it was slow for Philosophical Friday, but um, I'm going to see if I can make it work. And um, I'll see you on the next one, man. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, Brother Kush, a.k.a. The Black Alpha. So long. Um,